Welcome back to this channel and uh, greetings from this A320 fixed base simulator facility here in Hyderabad and in today's video I'm gonna talk we are gonna have a discussion about type rating what it is and uh, some frequently asked questions about type rating so if you guys are interested about this video watch uh, make sure to watch it the entire length and if you're ready fasten the seat belts because we're ready for takeoff. What's up fellow viewers and welcome back to the Flytuber flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Ali Asghar. Captain Sandesh here. Captain Sandesh Bhaiti, he is my uh, instructor for A320. I took my classes from him. We're going to talk about him uh, later on. But uh, uh, this session is all about type rating and let's uh, head and uh, let's deep dive into today's topic. Alright, so before we start off with this session, uh, first of all, I'd like to let you know that it's a very blessed moment for me because this is my first collab and it happens to be with my instructor, Captain Sandesh Bahethi. Uh, I've invited a friend over in another video, but with an, another YouTuber, this is my first collab and uh, who else better uh, opportunity than having a collab with my instructor. And at this point, I'd like him to introduce planes over here to you guys. Yeah, thank you Ali. Thank you for having me on the channel. This is uh, first collab with him here on uh, YouTube. Uh, please do follow him, subscribe to him and like his channel, of course. Uh, so Planes Overhead has uh, started off on YouTube long back. Uh, now uh, we have a full-fledged uh, running academy uh, in Hyderabad. Uh, majorly, as you can see in the background, we have the uh, Airbus A320, uh, you know, fixed base simulator here that is there. And uh, of course, we also deal with CPL and ATPL uh, subjects as well. So that's about his Planes Overhead uh, institution and also he has uh, another channel Planes Overhead and this video is going to be posted both on th uh, this channel and also on Planes Overhead. So uh, go ahead, check that channel out. It's a very like my channel is for aviation enthusiasts and uh, not very technical stuff. His channel is on the other hand very technical, very you know a lot of informative stuff on that channel. So you might want to head over to that channel and do subscribe to Planes Overhead. Now, uh, why is Captain Sandesh the best guy to be talking about A320? The first thing is, he is he has been teaching technical stuff and classes about this uh, aircraft since past five years. I also am an uh, alumnus from his institution. I myself have taken classes uh, about A320 two years back. And apart from that, another very important thing is, uh, he is currently flying this aircraft. It's He has somewhere about more than 3000 hours under his belt on this aircraft. And the best part is he's actually flying the aircraft uh, right now. And all these experience he puts in into his uh, classes and he tries and he actually gives the best quality out for you guys and for me as well. All right, so now I <laughs> I keep talking on this channel, but today uh, I want Captain uh, to be, you know, uh, giving his experience. So this is going to be like an interview. I'll just ask a question and shut my mouth up and Captain will take on from there. So first and foremost question, pretty straightforward. What is a type rating cap? Uh, so type rating is uh, majorly a training specifically to a aircraft which is generally commercial in sense for example you have airbus 320 type rating boeing 737 type rating probably atr q400 and all of that so it adds on to your cpl value basically and it helps you get into an airline probably much easier and faster so in, in cpl you will just uh, learn how to fly a smaller aircraft but type rating is wherein you learn to fly a particular type a bigger aircraft a passenger jet aircraft a bigger one so that that's what actually a type rating is Now the next question that comes up is why a type rating is required separately and not uh, usually included in a CPL syllabus. So can you that answer that question? So uh, to that, CPL is uh, where you learn hand flying skills more, okay, where you learn uh, very basic instruments, basic aircraft, which is like probably like a Cessna, okay. Uh, so it is to more, probably do more with a single engine and a smaller multi-engine. But on the other hand, type rating, which is very specific to a bigger aircraft, probably it involves more complex uh, features. Like we have the A320 here, a lot of instrument display. You have the overhead panel, more complex systems, hydraulics, you know, systems that are uh, having too much redundancy to make aircraft flying safer. And more or less, uh, it also involves commercial uh, jets that we have in the Indian aviation right now. So that is why you need a type rating beyond a CPL. All right, so before we continue on with this session, if you are getting value out of this video and some information, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel also, uh, Planes Overhead. Now, continuing with the discussion, 
The next question that comes up is, what is the approximate cost and approximate duration of a type rating? So, uh, duration generally around about one to one and a half month, uh, where it depends on the TRTO that you select, okay, so it can be, uh, it can be international TRTO or Indian uh, training institutes as well. Cost again depends on the type of aircraft, where you are doing it, which country you are doing it, what are their regulations, what are the requirements that are there to fulfill the number of sessions and all of that. So it can be anything between, uh, let's say 15,000 US dollars to upwards of 20,000 US dollars. And to convert it in Indian rupees, probably around about 15 to 25 lakh rupees. This is above your CPL, okay? It is not included in your CPL costing, which yes. is very important to know for every aviation industry. Yes, especially a lot of you guys before coming into aviation, as per their understanding, the whole of these costs are included in the training, but yeah. no, it's over and above what you pay for your CPL. Correct. Now, next and uh, very frequently asked question is, uh, post CPL, should a student straight away head to get his type rating done? Okay, so uh, that is a very interesting question and I'm sure uh, one of the most awaited questions on this uh, video right now here. <laughs> exactly. So this, however, is a tricky question because uh, it is based on a dynamic situation, how the market is doing right now and uh, depends on a lot of uh, important factors like first up is the most important thing is your finance uh, stability really? because it's a personal choice uh, how you uh, deal with finances, right? The other thing is always, I personally believe that an add-on to the life add-on to a license is always helpful right because TR type rating is basically an add-on so the airlines will obviously have a little bit of little bit preferences over a, a CPL holder when a person is type rated and the best part of course of type rating is you have a three years validity of the endorsement which uh, makes sure ensures that you have a margin to get a job and not really uh, struggle staying unemployed on that so yeah probably that's how it is so so i was just giving an example just before uh, he said that just consider uh, after your class 10th then a class 12th you know a class 12th past student uh, student will be having less chance of landing a job than a person who also has over and above a graduation degree so it's very similar to that yeah but it always boils down to the finances don't take a risk and go for a type rating but sir has already uh, you know summarized the question and answer for you now some of you guys might know about this term and many of you might not know but still this is one of another frequently asked questions is what is a pre-type rating and a post-type rating classes or uh, you know ground classes so if you would answer that question for my viewers yeah so uh, generally when somebody goes for a type rating i uh, personally we uh, teach them things that are required when they go for the type rating for example some things are which are always day in day out standard stuff in the aircraft like probably like you know your sops and stuff which are you need to use every day so we teach them basic technical stuff and we teach them uh, you know all the procedures that are there so that their type rating course that they go for becomes a very smooth ride however when they come back for the post uh, type rating class in that we are uh, majorly dealing with preparing them for the interview level the airline recruitment where how they can deal with the technical exams of the airline how they can answer the simulator sessions uh, and how can they answer the interviews so that is a major difference between the pre and the post type rating class uh, there yeah so i'd like to share my experience with him uh, uh, when i took the classes uh, the pre type rating classes uh, sir taught us obviously about the technical stuff but then the sops or like for example cockpit preparation etc these things are that a pilot does day in and day out there is no yeah. change in that right so we were absolutely thorough even before we left india for our type rating and by the time we were there these things were absolutely at our fingertips and uh, the thing we, we learned in our type rating was over and above these things. The things which are dynamic, which changes with the situations, you know, engine failure and damage, many different things which are very dynamic. These things are what we learned in the type rating. Uh, so that is what pre-type rating uh, class helped me for. And now talking about the post-type rating classes, once we came back, Sir taught us so nicely and we our concepts were so thorough and especially he took, uh, you know, mock interviews, etc. Yeah. That uh, I went in for my selection in my airline and uh, I also told about this in my pre previous life go make sure to watch that uh, session where sir did a takeoff and landing anyways uh, uh, 186 people turned up for the selection process and uh, of all the selection process only five of us were selected and uh, i was one of them thanks to all the hard work <laughs> and amazing quality that he imparted in his uh, training and apart from that, I'd also like to let you know that uh, here exactly in this place, uh, sir also has the facility to train on, for CPL students. Uh, he also takes CPL ground classes, obviously not sir himself, but he has some amazing and very info, uh, informative uh, ground instructors for his uh, CPL classes. And on top of that, also on my insistence, sir has accepted one amazing request and I'd like you to let people know what that is. 
Okay, so uh, this place here right now you see behind us uh, in the background, uh, I had opened it up only for training for uh, pilots specifically uh, who are joining uh, airlines and recruitment, you know, all of those processes and any simulator uh, check rides that they want to give. Uh, but after uh, Ali uh, in insisting me because he has a lot of aviation enthusiast followers like you guys here on the channel. Uh, I've opened this up now for all, all of you guys uh, who can come and experience this uh, recreational uh, flying experience that you can feel a cockpit and uh, enjoy a takeoff and landing even though it may not be as technical as it can but it's uh, open for all of you now. So you can come down fly for 30 minutes or 1 hour uh, you know at very nominal prices and apart from that just I'd like to stress on the fact that sir actually is flying right now. and. On top of that, how he will take up, uh, take out time for you guys, I don't know, but uh, that's an amazing thing. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, yeah. And uh, I hope that you guys will take a maximum advantage out of this opportunity. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys uh, like this session. And thanks a lot for uh, this opportunity. And thanks a lot for having me here and for your time, sir. No, it was my pleasure having you, Ali, here uh, at POH. Uh, please, guys, follow Fly FlyTuber, like, subscribe, and share his YouTube channel. Don't forget him on Instagram, too. He will reply <laughs> to your DMs. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, I'll try my level best and obviously uh, head over to planes overhead do subscribe to his channel and uh, that's an amazing channel check that channel out and thanks a lot for this facility first of all i had a lot of fun today if you guys uh, uh, you know want to know what i did a few days back i did a live session on my channel uh, right here and i'll link that uh, uh, live video somewhere up here on this uh, you know uh, video check that uh, i card out head over to that live session I, we did some amazing takeoff and landing some amazing views so thanks a lot for this day and obviously about this uh, you know facility i'll be putting descriptions now uh, you know details in the description below go ahead check that out if you want to know more details about planes overhead that's it for today's video if you like hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel i'll be calling up uh, other you know similar uh, people from within aviation industry so that you guys are uh, a bit closer to us a bit closer to the aviation industry and you guys can have your queries answered from the right people at the right stage in their life so that's it for today and uh, i'll come up with another interesting video until then keep safe and happy landings Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys liked this session and uh, an amazing video here. And what was it? Stop it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you liked this session and the video itself. And I'd like to take an opportunity and have... Shit, opportunity? What are you saying? Facility. Yeah, facility. Tab, tab ah, okay, we'll do that guys. Yo. Yo. We're coming. I have experience. Let's Press well, that's it for this video. I hope that you liked the video and the session. And uh, I really thank a lot, uh, sir. Thanks a lot that you have, uh, you know. <laughs>